right, so today I am going to do my nails in honor of 4th of July, so America, woo! Um, I did have my nails painted red before, um, which red always stains kind of my nail beds and my fingers around it, um, but I removed all my polish. I have filed my nails and they are ready to go because... Um, I'm not too concerned that the red, it'll wash out by the end of the day anyway. So, um, I have, uh, my red nail polish, I have my white nail polish, I have a blue, and then I have glitter, which is red, white, and blue, well, silver, blue, and red, um, and then my top coat. So, these are all varying, uh, kinds of nail polish. I just kind of pick up colors along the way um, from a variety of places. So uh, I do want to go and get some of the, um, probably my favorite brand is OPI, because um, that's like one of the more, uh, I guess, fashion brands or whatever that I like. So I'm going to start um, painting my nails, all of them white. So I have this. I also have uh, tin foil, just one so I can paint on and not get paint on my table surface, but I'm also going to use that as I start decorating them. So I am just going to paint my nails white. And it's crazy because I am typically a nail biter. So I have been a nail biter since I was a kid. Um, but during pregnancy, like your nails and your hair grow um, insanely strong and like, you know, you have luscious locks <laughs> and uh, you don't really lose hair um, that much and your nails grow really well. So um, I take full advantage during pregnancy uh, of when my nails are nice and strong and they will grow and as long as I have them painted uh, then I usually don't bother them I usually don't bite them uh, so that's kind of the key for me is if I can see that I have like you know actual white parts of my nails you know the tips then sometimes I'm like oh they're uneven and so then I'm like well I'll bite this one to make it even and then it just uh it's a train wreck from there <laughs> so i uh i'm appreciating i you know I, I also my nails are looking a little messy so um usually i just kind of work at once i wash my hands and stuff and it comes out around my skin but, you know, for a home job, this is what I do. I usually have to do it pretty quick, too, because of the girls. Um, and as when it, whenever I pull out my nail polish, like, they always want their nails painted. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, because sometimes they just pick the nail polish right off. And I'm like, okay, I spent all that time, and you just picked it off. So I'm going to let that coat dry, and I'll go ahead and do... Now see, like, okay, so the downfall of buying cheap nail polish is it doesn't last as long um, as the expensive brands, but um, it also, buying cheap nail polish allows me to have <laughs> a bin full of nail polish that looks like this. I may have a slight addiction, just a slight, um, but anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, cheap nail polish. I mean, you pay for what you, or you get what you pay for, so. Uh, okay. And... But I do like having fun and trying new designs. I really don't go and get manicures um, very often. I mean, I probably would like to, but I just can't justify spending the money for it when I can do it at home and then I can experiment with things. Um, Pinterest, Instagram always gives me ideas. And then sometimes I just like to try things myself. So, and see what looks good. 
Um, that's kind of the, the fun in nail art. And yeah. I do like to do theme nails, you know, like paint it for the holidays, um, red and green, or springtime, spring colors, that kind of stuff. The um, school that I work for, UW, um, their colors are purple and gold, so sometimes at the beginning of the year for like opening, I will do my nails in purple and gold uh, to show that school spirit. I like to do the one-off accent nail sometimes. That's fun too. Usually I do it as my ring finger if I'm only going to paint one nail a different color. So I'm going back to this, uh, to my left hand and doing a second coat of white. So I'm done with the white for now. I'll go back and do this hand later. But anyway, like you can see, it, it's not perfect. Um, I'll clean all my edges up later, but I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to decide which colors to put where. So I'm going to let this dry and um, then we'll continue on. Okay, so the white is pretty much dried for the most part. Um, so I have, I took my red and I put some on my tin foil. Um, right now I um, have had all the intentions to go and buy a nail kit for like nail art and stuff, but I just kind of have been making do. <laughs> so I have a bent bobby pin that I'm using and I'm going to just dip that in uh, my red and kind of rub the excess, the excess off. So you can see I have red on there and then I'm going to do stripes across my nail. So, like so, and I think if I just, run it across, mm, not perfect, but it'll do what I'm looking for. So there's a uh, red tip that I did, and then I'm going to do another red stripe at the bottom and just kind of evening it out. So then it looks like that, and make my tip here. And then my tip on this one. Okay, so then I have my stripes, you see? And then I'm going to take some blue I'll shake it up here and oh I should have opened this before okay got that so I'm going to put a little bit of blue here as well and I have 
a toothpick. So I'm gonna take the blunt end of the toothpick, dip it in, and I'm gonna do dots. And kinda go over the dotted area again. So it's like a double coat and three dots down there. And three, three, and three. Three, three, and three. Oops, there we go. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and kind of double dot them. Okay, so now I have little red, white, and blue nails. Then for these two, for my pinky and my thumb, I'm actually going to put the glitter on top. So you see there's red, silver, and blue, and I'm just gonna paint over the white with it. I'll have to do a couple of coats of this. But yeah, these will be fun and festive and I can easily change them out then. Um, so, it's what I like to do. Ideally, if I had the time, I'd change my nail polish out every couple of days, but I don't always have the time, so. So you can see, maybe you can see, is it gonna focus? Um, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so you can see, they definitely need cleaned up on the edges, but I have the glitter nails, and then I have the red, white, and blue kind of modified uh, flag themes for uh, 4th of July. So uh, this is just something I like to do. I like to experiment. Um, maybe you'll be inspired and be encouraged to try out your own. Here, I'll put it up on me now. Uh, maybe you'll be encouraged to try out your own nails um, and decorate your own nails. Guys, if you're watching this, maybe you can uh, get creative and maybe try it out on, uh, on, on your significant other and really wow her. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway, hopefully you liked this. And um, like I said, I do want to get some more OPI and I actually want to get the, the real like nail styling tools. And then I'll come back and do more videos of doing nails and stuff. But anyway, this was just a fun design. Um, now I feel like I'm festive for 4th of July and yay. So thanks for watching. Uh, comment if you have anything to share with me or any cool websites um, for nail tutorials or anything because I, I like doing that kind of stuff um, and uh, until next time I'll see you guys later bye